we're going to speak to our reporter, Cyril Payen. Hello to you, Cyril. Um, just tell us, what is the situation like in this refugee camp? Well, it's, it's, it looks like it's very much a non-ending tragedy with this tribe, the Rohingyas, and uh, with this surge of violence, as you have been saying, with seven dead, extremely violent scenes this morning in these remote uh, camps of Kutapalong, which is harboring uh, less than a little less than one million refugees. It's one of the largest refugee camps in the in the world, even if it's a bit out of the scope now. And uh, and as you said, the very famous renowned peace advocate, which has been killed, and uh, always the uh, the Bangladesh security forces are saying we're doing the best but it looks like very much and, and I've been covering the Rohingya issue since the early 2000s and it's early it's really really a non-ending tragedy stories of persecuted people which which uh, very uh, with a big acceleration in the year 2017 when the thousands of them have been killed uh, randomly by the, the, the Burmese army forcing one million people of uh, crossing this Naf River out of the, uh, the, the, the Bangladesh uh, uh, shores and uh, well they are quite out of the scope now so we d it's not very clear if we're talking about uh, 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 traffickers uh, trying to um, be the masters of this camp if we're talking about drug gangs if we're talking about some Islamic uh, people or even some guerrilla uh, uh, people it's extremely remote very difficult to, to say what's going on the thing is the uh, uh, the UN the NGOs trying to work in this huge camp are just trying to to make uh, things easier for these uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, of people with no hope and this new surge of violence has come as a very bad bad way and a very bad signal for everybody who wanted to help the the Rohingya issue and talking about everyone who wanted to help what steps has the international community taken and what what else should be done well, it looks like the world has many issues on these ends, and it looks like this is also maybe the globalized way of uh, trying to, to help. The, the, the last uh, news we have from Bangladesh, from these remote places, which is south of Cox's Bazar, so we're talking about very, very remote places in the world, um, the, the news are not too good because it, it's, it, happened, it, it appears that the United Nations have just signed an agreement with the Bangladeshi authorities, which is, by the way, are borrowing uh, two million million uh, uh, Rohingyas uh, across the, the, the time. And the last solution, I will say, to try to have less people in this huge Kutapalong camp, it's to send them, to transfer them in a in a floating island. This is Banshasa, which is a local name, which is meaning this is an island which where you have some cyclones or some monsoon, they will be on the water. So the UN just signed the agreement to uh, transfer uh, 80,000 of these uh, families, refugees, uh, Bang uh, Rohingya refugees to be transferred in this remote island, which is 100, um, 100 kilometers away from the shore of Bangladesh. So it looks, well, it's, it's really very much um, um, a fact, um, I mean, a, a, a snapshot of what is the situation for these Rohingyas. Even the United uh, uh, Nations, even the international community do not too much, but to sign this kind of uh, terrible agreement to transfer these people for, for the death or in military islands, uh, which can be uh, uh, inundated by, by the monsoon. Yeah, it sounds like fleeing from one tragedy to the next. Indeed. All right, thank you very much, Cyril Payen, uh, a France 24 senior reporter.